on Tuesday, the blog, I testified to this effect Tuesday night. On Tuesday night, the um, national blog, Brad blog, uh, by Brad Friedman, he's a nationally known blogger on questions of election integrity, um, posted a blog in which he had interviewed, directly talked with Jacqueline Duke, and confirmed something that had already been reported by an election worker. What was her name again? Wendy Isbell. Wendy Isbell, who also testified Tuesday night to this effect, that Jacqueline Duke had instructed election workers to ignore broken seals, broken security seals on the memory cards on ballot boxes. Um, Jacqueline Duke confirmed to him that she had given that instruction. Um, the following, I think it was the following day that Steve Offrecht, no, it was two days later, Steve Offrecht, who's um, an emeritus professor of public administration at UAA and has a blog called What Do I Know? Very evidence and fact based in pretty much everything that he writes. Um, he had a 20 minute uh, video of an interview with the previous deputy clerk, uh, Lupe American, American um, in which she drew attention also to that issue of broken security seals on ballot boxes and how that just throws everything into question because if seals are broken and we know of at least one from Wendy Isbell that was, we also know that Jacqueline Duke instructed people that if they did find a broken security seal to simply replace it with a new seal. That throws the whole question into election because the integrity, you know, if those, if those, if those uh, security seals are broken, then anyone, especially since the election chair people are permitted to take ballot boxes home for however many nights on sleepovers, um, that anyone could have possibly tampered with those memory cards. Um, Brad Freeman has explained in detail how there have been various precinct or various uh, jurisdictions throughout the country that have actually decommissioned these machines because of these kind of security issues. And there was a there was a documentary on HBO in 2006 demonstrating exactly how this exact model of machine can be tampered with. And yet, we have seen no one on the assembly, no one on the election commission, no one in the mainstream media even looking at the fact that Duke is confirmed to have instructed election workers to ignore these security seals. Are you going to be investigating this? We are investigating. Are you going to be investigating this issue, this specific issue? That's the answer I just gave you. You just said we are. Uh, you just said we are investigating, but you didn't say you were going to be investigating this issue. That's you a pretty. That's a pretty you didn't general address comment. anything in your entire statement other than that question. Are, are you going to be investing? Are you going to be investigating Duke's instruction to election workers to ignore broken security seals on ballot boxes? I, I don't know which one of us are having problems with our communication skills here. You've been very clear in the question that you asked me, and I was very clear in my answer in that, yes, we are. What you said is we will be investigating. That's a general statement where you could be investigating any a number of things, you know, but not this particular I'm issue. Not, I'm, not, I'm not going to debate with you. I in other words, we don't know if you're going to not. investigate. You Duke's can, you misinstruction. Can, you can come to the conclusion you want. You ask All you have to do is say, specific question. I did, and you just and said, I said, we are in, yes, yes, we are going to investigate. And I said, yes. Okay, you will be investigating Duke's instruction to election workers. That is the full purpose of a third party investigator, is to deal with those issues. Okay. We will look forward to hearing the Election Commission actually asking that specific question, as well as all the others. Right. 
Very good. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Was there a